is Kelly Barnhart. I am owner of College Admissions Strategies. I am a solopreneur, so basically that means I wear all the hats. Um, I do the marketing, I do the accounting, I do uh, just about everything you can imagine as far as a business operation is concerned. And I've been doing this for a little over three years now. So by no means am I an expert, but certainly I know that I have traveled many pathways to get to where I am today. So that's what I will talk about. How did this all start? And I went to college uh, straight out of high school. I went to a four-year college and majored in business administration. So did I know exactly what I wanted to do? Not really. Um, I knew business was a safe choice for me because I knew I at least would work in a business atmosphere somewhere. So as time sort of evolved and I got closer to graduation, I realized or I thought I realized that maybe I wanted to be that big power career woman wearing suits every day and driving downtown and you know working in a big office and I did I did that and after I did that I realized that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do so how did how did I fix that how did I go about trying to change course at that point and was it scary sure but my goal was to figure out what at that point would work for me and so I guess if I had to pass along some learning lesson at this point, it's don't worry if your path isn't always straight and narrow. And sometimes we focus on the outcome maybe a little bit too much, but to enjoy the process a little bit because I can definitely look back and say that the experiences that got me to where I am today were really critical in getting me to this point. So. Going through college definitely was helpful, but probably the biggest thing for me that I can look back and say for sure was I had a job in high school. So I worked, um, I actually worked for my parents' company, and one of the things that helped me the best looking back is learning about communications. So learning how to talk and speak with others, understand others, knowing that what I'm saying maybe isn't necessarily coming across the best way, so how, how do I fix that? So learning how to hone in on my communication skills and really, again, understanding how others are hearing me was super important. So I fix that, fixated on that probably a little too much, um, but the good thing is is that now I feel I can communicate with just about anybody. I may not necessarily know everything about the topic at hand, but I do know how to get into a conversation with literally anyone, and uh, that's probably my best piece of advice to start out with, honing that skill. So when you are looking at your potential future, sometimes we just don't know what we wanna do, and that's perfectly fine. I know a lot of people that are in their 40s and still don't know what they wanna do. So, so don't get so focused on, I have to figure out what I wanna do, because I highly recommend that you go into college with an open mind, not necessarily with a pathway picked out already for you. So, so when we are trying to figure out what we wanna do, a really good place to start is with internships or job shadowing. And whether it is an internship or job shadowing, again, you're learning functions of a business that may help you, may not help you directly, but indirectly, that connection with that business or the people within that business absolutely can help you further down the road. And what I like to say now is probably one of my best um, avenues for success is networking. So the people that perhaps you're interning with or job shadowing with will be a fabulous network for you when you are having to start out on your own career path. And it goes back to the saying of it's not necessarily what you know, but maybe who you know. So always kind of remember that little tidbit. And then, you know, as, as you get to your senior year, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure to figure it all out. And it may be from friends, it may be from family, it may be from neighbors, but the bottom line is stay focused on what you want. 
Understand what your values are because at the end of the day, if you're chasing someone else's career path or someone else's career advice, it may end up in a wrong place for you. So if you stay true to what you like and what you value out of life, sometimes that magic can work and it all comes together and you end up exactly where you're meant to be. So as far as me, would I do anything different um, looking back? Of course, of course. I think you interview anybody and they will say, I would do 10 things different or 100 things different, or maybe it's just one thing different. But, but the bottom line is that is part of life and going through the process and you're going to get on the pathway and there's going to be roadblocks and hurdles and detours, maybe U-turns, but wherever it's leading you, just know that it's absolutely leading you in the right place. But stay true to your vision, your dreams, your goals. And again, you'll end up exactly where you're meant to be.